Hi guys, Will here from WB Trading and in today's video we're going to walk through two hidden trading mistakes that only losing traders make, okay? And they're two mistakes that when solved, well, the, the only possible outcome is trading profitably. You'll, you'll understand after the video. Uh, and one thing that I will say is this definitely isn't one to miss. So please make sure that you watch right through to the end today so that you don't miss any crucial details that we cover. Just very quickly, uh, before we dive in today, if you are struggling with your trading or you'd like to know more about how mechanical edges are traded, I've actually put together a free video course for you that will map out and explain everything in detail, along with walking you through exactly how mechanical wolves actually work. If you'd like to watch that after this video, I'll pop a link to that in the description. And you can click through and watch that straight away. Now, if you Google search trading failure rate, you'll find that depending on where you look, it tends to be pretty high, right? Another thing that's interesting is that it isn't linked to anything like age, gender, location, level of, of education, nothing like that, right? I've spoken to, God, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of traders across the years and everybody's different, right? But the common thread between all of them is that want, that drive to join the top 10% of traders who consistently pull money out of the market, making this a career and even working within trading full time like I do myself, right? But the truth is not many traders are actually willing to go the whole nine yards, so to speak, and really put the effort in to get there. And in this video, I want to share top two really hidden mistakes, uh, the two real reasons why most traders don't make it. Okay, and if you can just remove these, just get these out of the way, the sky is the limit. It really is. Now, uh, let's start with what I believe is the most common reason that traders lose money, okay, which is uh, attempting to trade using a speculative approach. So using best guesses, analysis, predictions, and believe it or not, uh, and for the experienced traders amongst you, you'll have to think back to the beginning. Uh, a lot of traders come into trading feeling the need to, well, time the market or looking for a uh, tap on the shoulder from some kind of insider who is just going to tip them off on what to do and, and when, right? Newer traders think that that's the only way to trade, finding a way to pretty much win as often as possible and as big as possible. They just want to win every trade, every day, as many as possible, and they think that this career is all just win, win, win. Yeah, if only it was that easy, right? And when they find out that that isn't possible, they spend massive amounts of money buying every piece of uh, fad trading education out there. This new fancy indicator, that magic charting software that just tells you buy here, sell here, uh, to the cheap, useless technical analysis courses that just teach you, you know, best guesses all over again, all of it. And maybe you've been there yourself. Maybe you've fallen into that trap of, you know, paying for gimmicks that just lead you down the garden path with, with your pants down. Right, hopefully, hopefully that wasn't too graphic. But uh, my point is that most traders don't want to do the hard work. They're looking for magic beans, right? They're looking for a, a genie's belly to just rub and suddenly they're profitable. Or they're relying on non-proven guesswork style trading like analysis, support, resistance, lagging indicators. You know, buy when the RSI is below 30 and sell when it's above 70. Just think about that for a second. If it was that easy, 90% of Earth's population wouldn't be stressed and strained financially, living paycheck to paycheck, right? Wait until price goes outside the bottom of the Bollinger Band and then buy. <laughs> Again, if it was that easy, well, 90% of traders wouldn't lose every single penny that they ever put into a trading account, would they? Now, uh, none of that stuff works in that simple a manner. And what causes it is, well, what it causes, I should say, really, is strategy hopping or, or technique hopping, wasting time, losing money in the process. But here's something to keep in mind and, and really take this in. As humans, we are emotional creatures, aren't we? We don't have the ability to live in hindsight. None of us know what will happen in the future. None of us can predict what will happen. Well, I can't speak today. <laughs> None of us can predict what will happen tomorrow. Right, so if that's true, then how can we trade in a way where we can be as certain as humanly possible without making a single guess or prediction? I'll tell you, here's the secret almost no traders know by using statistics. 
Using factual statistics is the only true way to make professional, informed trading decisions, in my opinion. And this is hidden mistake number one, not using them. But let me explain what I mean by using statistics, and I'll keep this as super simple as possible. Let's say that, for example's sake, okay, that your strategy is buy euro dollar at 8 a.m. every day with a 10 point stop loss and a 30 point profit target. Okay, now uh, you take those exact rules and you rerun them across one, two, three years of data and build the performance statistics. So you go back to last week, you follow that set of rules, what happened? Go back to last month, follow that set of rules, what happened? Okay, now using that data that you've built, we can see inside the strategy and actually be confident in its performance. Imagine that. Imagine being able to see inside a strategy and know, proven via factual data, that it works. Almost every single trader out there, all losing traders, that's for sure, do not have this data. Whereas every single professional trader that I know personally and, and professionally, all of the greats do have that data. That, that should tell you something, right? But on the other side of this, let's say that your strategy is, again, for example's sake here, buy when price dips outside the bottom of a Bollinger Band. That's it. And believe me, I actually spoke to a trader a couple of weeks ago. That was his strategy. Buy when price dips outside of the bottom of the Bollinger Band. See, you can't build the data on this. Because there's so many questions, there's so many variables there. So what specific time frame do you trade and why? Where specifically do you actually enter? Where do you place a stop loss and a profit target and why? Hell, which, which markets do you trade and why? Losing traders can't answer any of these questions. And to make matters worse than that, because they can't properly define the strategy, they actually can't test it and build the statistics on whether their strategy even works or not. And if I just described uh, more or less what you're doing right now within your trading, I, I, I'm sorry to say this, but you, you should be, be pretty worried. But with that said, at least now you know what to do to fix the problem. You have to put clear rules in place, properly define every action you're taking every day, and build the data that shows you that what you're doing genuinely works. Right. So uh, that's mistake number one, along with the, the fix for you. Moving on to mistake number two, and this is something almost no traders fully understand. Let me ask you this. Why does almost every losing trader out there constantly go on about how high their win rate is? In fact, I actually had a call with a trader uh, over in the, the States yesterday, and one of the first things that he said to me was, Will, I, I don't get it. My win rate is sky high. It's like 90%. You know, I win eight, nine trades out of 10. But overall, I'm losing money. I, I don't get it. Now, let me pause here for a second. Okay, if you're watching this right now, jump to the comments section below the video and let me know if you understand why this trader might be losing money with such a high win rate. Pause the video for just a second and let me know what you think. And when that's done, uh, I'll tell you. It's because you didn't understand how win rate must align with win size. Now, sure, he was scalping the markets and winning, again, 8, 9 out of 10 trades. But when he was right, uh, he'd win 0.4R or thereabouts. And when he was wrong, he'd lose 3R, 4R, 5R, if not a lot more than that, hell of a lot more than that on some occasions. Completely backwards, right? Meaning that uh, what he was doing was constantly drawing down his account, drawing it backwards instead of building it forwards and, and upwards. And this is mistake number two, not understanding that you have to align your win rate with your win size. See, there are only two types of, of profitable strategies out there. It, fundamentally, number one, lower win rate, but therefore larger wins. And number two, higher win rate, but therefore smaller wins. And you never, you never get one and the same. You never get a monstrously high win rate and monumental wins every day of the, the week. It just it doesn't happen. It's not how probabilities work. And what this trader had was the opposite, <laughs> the opposite of an edge, really. See, let's say he was winning, let's kind of reverse what he was doing. Let's say he was winning just 30% of his trades. But when he lost, he capped his loss at just minus 1R. But when he won, he won, let's say, 4R. Okay, 
okay? That is an edge of the market because when you're right, you're right four times larger than when you're wrong. Yeah, he was doing the complete opposite. When he was right, he was right tiny. And when he was wrong, he was wrong massive. Constantly pushing, well, not pushing, pulling his account backwards uh, and into the red. And again, it comes back to not having uh, performance statistics because if he did, he would see on paper what was wrong and he could fix it. But again, he didn't have this. And so he couldn't actually even see what was wrong. He was going out there every day, deploying risk, deploying capital, taking trades with no idea that all of, well, I mean, statistically, what he was doing was only ever going to lose him money in the long term. And again, it comes back to not having uh, st statistics, bottom line. And worse than that, the day that we spoke, he'd literally blown an entire, I think it was 9.4K uh, account that morning. $9,400 gone, down the drain, handed over to his broker. All because, again, he was missing this stuff that you've just learned. Honestly, this video, knowing this stuff, puts you in a position of power that most other traders out there will not ever be in. Most traders don't have a clue about this stuff. It's reserved for professionals. And you are now one step closer to being a professional. If you aren't wrong already, of course. And by the way, if you would like to learn the rules behind my mechanical edges, complete with statistical data uh, so that you can solve the problems for yourself, uh, I'll pop a link in the description where you can book a call with me and I'll run you through how they work. Anyway, uh, I hope that helps. Uh, hopefully that's added value for you. And here is to your success. Bye for now.